So I had a question about fireworks, and so I figured I'd make a short little video and see how this helps. So I'm going to actually try to address two questions that have come up. So let's see how this works. So the first thing I do when I go into fireworks, and I apologize, I'm on CS3. I haven't gotten my CS4 yet. I'm waiting for the IT department, and for the last six weeks they keep telling me it's in, it's in, but I don't have it yet. So hopefully this is similar enough that um, it will work. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm gonna just call this 1024 by 800 let's just say and so the question came up when you have I'm just gonna create a basic box and I'll create one more I'll just change a second color to Alright, not the best color scheme, but this will work for this illustration. So one of the questions came up is, what happens when you have a lot of images and you want to move them around? And you, for instance, maybe you created a banner. So I'm going to create another file. And in this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go online and I'm going to look for some images just to illustrate a point. Not to say that this is how you should get your images for your website, but I'm just going to go to Google and I'm gonna search the Google images just to make a point. So let's say that I like this one so I'm gonna save this image to my desktop and let's say I like this image going, going too fast So I'm going to right click and save this image to my desktop as well. And let's find one more. Where should we go? All right. So I have three images on my desktop now. And let's say I created a banner with these. And so in Fireworks to bring in an image, file, import. I'm going to find one of those images. Then I can tell it gives me this little um, kind of arrow where it shows me where I can put it. So I'm going to do this with all three of these. I'll okay, just drag this one down here. And we'll do it once more. So one of the first things I might notice is that this isn't exactly the size of a banner I want. It's 1024 just like my previous one so the width is good but the height isn't exactly right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some of these smaller. So I'm going to click on one and I'm going to just drag it. Now I'm going to undo this. Another if you click on one you can go over to one of these tools, the scale tool and I can click and I can drag it. So let's say that I'm happy with that. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to hit enter and click another one. Go and click this scale tool and I'm going to drag this one up as well. Hit enter and it's done. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing with this last one. And if I didn't want to use the scale tool, I could always put my mouse over there. If I'll shift down, it will automatically do it as well. So there's some fast ways that you can kind of do this. So let's say that this is the way I wanted it to look. One of the things you can do is you can go up to Modify Canvas, and I can just go to Trim Canvas. And that makes a real quick way to adjust. I'm going to make this a little bigger by clicking down here. And, and let's go a little smaller than that. We'll go to 100%. Now I want to actually crop this a little, so I'm going to click on the crop tool. And I'm going to double click. So there I have my banner, let's say. Now, one of the things you can do is if I click on one, if I hold shift and click on another, and hold shift and click on the other, if I right click or apple click if you're on a Mac, I can group these together. So I'm going to group them. So now when I move them, they're all together. Okay. So I like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my 
image over here and I'm going to right click and paste it okay and so one of the things that I can do so right now I'm just going to place it up there and, and let's say it works perfect um, if I decided well maybe I want to make this a little smaller I could always click and drag that go to modify canvas and trim canvas and boom it's just like that now one of the things that happens sometimes is you might actually have and I'm going to bring this send this backward. You might actually have it where something like this is happening, where your banner you want in front of this object. So if you click on whatever you want to bring forward and right click, you can go to down to arrange and you can say bring forward or bring to front. Okay, so I'm just going to bring forward and then that puts it in place of things. And so then at this point I could save this. Now the one other question came up was creating buttons or adding text. So I could create little buttons if I wanted to. Say and I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to edit and duplicate that. And you can see it's control D. D. Do that. So I'm just gonna do that. Control delete. I'm gonna use my arrows and bring that down. And so what I can do too is if I select this and hold shift down and do it a few more times, I can go up to modify and I can actually align these to the right. And so then it just took care of it. Now you notice that it doesn't help you with the spacing in between them. So now I'm going to add text. And so what I'll do with this is I usually will make this real big when I want to do something like this just so I can and I might copy that come over here and paste it select it control C copy click over here paste it and drag it and then I can just go ahead and change it and just like before if I don't want these things to move around I can click on that hold shift down and click the other box and right click and I can group them and now they're together and so now they move together the other thing that I can do is if I later want to ungroup them I can right click and go to ungroup so let's say I decide I want to change the color of this box I just gotta make sure I click on the box I can go over here and I can change this box so you can see well if I do that I definitely have to change this font and so you can see how you could do something like that so uh, go back to 100% and this quick little tutorial is done. Let's hope it helps some people. I'm going to do a save as. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And that's it. So hopefully this helps.